Hello everyone, welcome to another Apollo IO tutorial video. Now in this tutorial video, I will show you how to build a list in Apollo IO. Now this is very simple. Now all you have to do is when you go on Apollo IO, you go to the search and basically when you go to the search, you know, we want to make sure that you actually go to the filters and make sure that you're targeting the right people. So as you can see here, you can pretty much target uh, anything like you have a sequence, last activity, employees, how many employees they have, location, company, you know, job titles, you know, for example, if job title is a CEO, a co-founder, a marketing, uh, you know, a marketing person or project manager, you can go here and you can apply these filters. Now, I already applied my filters here. I got here a lot of people and a lot of leads that and a lot of companies that I can go to and that I can create a list from. So let's say I want to create lists from these companies. Now, as you can see, there are over almost like a million companies right here, but I only want 25 of those. So if I go here and click here, I can select the number of people that I want to save to a list and that I want to build a list of. Now, let's say it's 25 max people per company one. I want to apply this. And once I apply this, I will select all these people right here. Now, next thing that I can do, I can either export these into CSV or I can just save people. Now, once I save people, I can go and I can add them to sequence. I can assign an owner. I can uh, get their mobile numbers as well. And or I can add them to the list. Now, this will depend what you want to do. But basically, you want to go here and add this to the list. Now, once we add it to the list, we can create a list which will be called online media. For example, I already have this list right here, so I can just hit save. And uh, as you can see, once I save this, this will be added to the list, as you can see. Now, obviously, I can refresh the prospects and I can, you know, add new ones as, again to the list. But that's pretty much how I can pretty much do uh, and add anyone to the list. And now, basically, when I go to the list, I will have it here saved lists and I will have this uh, online media here. And I'll have these lists pretty much right here. But that's basically what you can do. It's very simple. Again, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.